Good morning friends, I am Dr. Ashish Sabhabal, urologist and urologist and robotic surgeon from New Delhi, India and today I will introduce you this gentleman, he has come all the way from United States. His story goes like this, that he was suffering from prostate cancer and he underwent robotic radical prostatectomy in 2017. The surgery went off very well, his PSA is very good, his PSA is under control. We did a PSA when he came here and it was 0 0.04, so that's a very good result and he's basically cancer free. But uh, only thing is that he was having erectile dysfunction after the treatment and he tried many treatments for this erectile dysfunction like pills, injections and they were helping but not fully. So finally, we have done an AMS 700 three-piece inflatable penile prosthesis on him and this uh, implant we did about two weeks ago. Patient is doing very well. I just requested him that he comes to us and tells his whole story so that he can also benefit from it. Thank you, doctor. Hi, uh, my story began in 2017 when I went for a regular uh, checkup of my doctor. Uh, they did some blood work and uh, the results came back that I had elevated PSA. It, didn't, it wasn't too bad, but it was, I think it was 6.5. So they sent me for a biopsy and when they did the biopsy, a uh, doctor came back and said um, I had prostate cancer, uh, Gleason score 9, and recommended a radical prostatectomy. So at the end of 2017, I went through with the surgery and um, the surgery went very well as the doctor here said and I made a good recovery. Uh, there was partial nerve sparing uh, but they removed the prostate and some lymph nodes on the right side. Uh, and then started the recovery and um, I had erectile dysfunction. Uh, that was the worst part um, and continued with that for several years. I tried Viagra and different uh, pills would you cut to as part of the regimen for recovery and none of it worked. And then I tried uh, ADEX uh, injections, uh, partially successful but uh, still had some complications. Uh, I thought about getting a, uh, uh, an implant but uh, that was around about 2020 when COVID hit and that put everything on hold for a couple of years. So as soon as um, everything got back to normal uh, this year, uh, I rethought about it again and I made a decision that I'm going to go through with it. Uh, it was one of the things that uh, really impacted me in my marriage, what you caught is having that intimacy with my wife and um, I wanted to get that back. It was pretty important for me. And so I talked with my wife and she agreed and so uh, I made a decision uh, to come here to India and um, I arrived and uh, the doctor really helped me out with the visa. Uh, that was no problem, no issues. Uh, I got a medical visa, I came right in and um, third day I went through with the surgery. The surgery went very well, very fast and then I started the recovery process and uh, first couple of days it was a little painful but I was on medication so I didn't feel too much. Uh, I got up, walked around in the hospital uh, everybody was so nice, they treated me so well, they gave me a lot of support and, um, and by week two I was already out and about. I was going to visit the Taj Mahal and, and see places in India and it was great. And so now I'm ready to go back home and uh, this has been a very excellent experience. Um, my only regret is I didn't do it sooner. Uh, I should have done it a whole lot sooner. So if anybody else is listening to this testimony out there, I would highly recommend, hey, don't waste your time. Uh, if the pill's not working, the injection's not working, just go ahead and get an implant. And um, you know, this is one of the best doctors. I did a lot of research and uh, uh, this doctor here is, he's one of the best. So uh, yeah, no regrets. Uh, I'm glad I went through with it and I highly recommend for anyone else who's thinking about it, just get it done. And the best thing is that today we started the cycling Yes. and the implant inflated and deflated very well. Yes, I was nervous about that because that's the moment of truth, will it work? And so I came in this morning, we did the first cycle and everything went very well. So I'm pretty happy with the results and I'm looking forward to going home and getting my life back to normal. Thank, thank you, doctor. Okay, great. Thank you.
so also i'll put a separate video on how the implant works and you can click on the link and you can see the video as well so if you need to contact me and you are also thinking of penile implant surgery you can contact me by email or whatsapp my email address and whatsapp number are given in the description thank you Thank you.